It's not, is it? It's a lovely place here. We love it. Yeah, I don't know. It gets you get really mad when you hear this. <laughs> How long have you lived in Hull for? All my life. Forever. Um, I'd, ag I'd agree with that. I, I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's very different from where I come from. Um, very, I don't know. I just didn't like it. It smells funny. A certain eggy smell on the way in that's always there. And it's just like the chocolate factory smell. And then just all the snidey people that ask you for like 20p for the phone or a pack. And then if you haven't got one, it's smack you. I, I quite like it. I'd stay here for another year if there was a job, because this is my final year. I wouldn't say that I hate that I should stay. It's just, I think this is probably grosser than any other city centre I've been to. I just think it's a bit dirty and it's a bit run down and it seems like doing to it. But apart from that, the people who aren't the snide people are really nice. Um, I used to work in the UGC cinemas up at Kingswood, and even the music they play in there is just really old Kylie and Jason albums and stuff. It's just stuck in the 80s a little bit. But, um, I don't know, I, uh, I'm desperate to get out of here, <laughs> but, what? sorry, um, well, I think where I come from is Edinburgh and it's really pretty and I just think it's quite different. There's no hills, it's just all flat. And cold. Yeah, it's the, I mean, it's the water, all the wind and swinging. <laughs> I met my husband here and decided to stay and I'm sorry I made my life here. It's uh, mm, it's really, really nice. I like it a lot. That's good. Whereabouts are you from originally? North East, Northumberland. Uh, but yes, I prefer it to Newcastle. So that it's definitely, it's definitely, do you think it's on the rise then? I think oh. it's definitely on the rise. As um, somebody else has already said, it's compared with when I first came here in the 70s, it was in the 60s and 70s, it was a real dump then, it was awful. It smelled bad, it was cheap looking, dirty, um, and it's vastly improved now, the facilities, everything, it's really good. Do you think the sort of the development of like the deep and the KC Stadium and money being ploughed into the BBC, do you think that's sort of, that's saying something about this town that, you know, yes. yes it is on the up? Yes, I think it's raised the aspirations of people who live here, they seem to expect that, that better level of things now, whereas at one time, they, they weren't part of, of things. There was no venue for big groups to come to, for example. Uh, certainly when my own ch children were teenagers, they used to go away to Bradford, Leeds, everywhere, Manchester, to see, you know, the, the music. Uh, and then could never come to any concerts in Hull, but of course now it's starting to, to rise and it's, it's a lot better from That's that true. point of view, yeah. Well, I mean, sort of speaking to one person, uh, like one of my friends, they actually said that they thought the attitude of Hull people was a bit a bit offish. Do you, do you agree with that as well? Or do you think maybe, um, like I've said, the KC Stadium and yeah. BBC and that, do you think that's going to maybe change their I attitudes? Think change things. I think there is a, an undercurrent in Hull of the people don't expect a lot. They, they try and do things on the cheap and they like the cheap shops and the markets and that type of thing. Whereas I think if we could get some better shopping here as well, I think it would uh, certainly raise, raise things up a lot more. And some better quality housing, some luxury flats in the city instead of all the cheap flats. But I think that, that is on its way. I know people who live in the city centre and they absolutely love it. I don't mind Hull, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't come from Hull, but uh, I work in Hull, I work for the uh, ferries down the road. And I, I haven't found a problem with Hull. I've trained, did a cadet ship here, trained here. Nothing wrong with Hull. How do you find the people? Fine, no problem, yes. Work with them. I've been here since, well, I live in Rotherham, I work in Hull, two weeks on, two weeks off, I don't find a problem with them. That's lovely. I'm not sure whether the person who voted on it has ever lived here. Yeah. And it was I, like... Yeah. I agree, and I think Hull's um, really come up in recent years. I mean, you only have to look at the building behind you, you know. Um, it, it's like up and coming, this is the deep. Um, there's a new stadium, um, there's lots of things going on in Hull and I think Hull is actually striving to become a, a better place and I agree the bloke who probably did it probably didn't even uh, live in Hull. I think Hull's okay. And also I've seen that guide, it's in a little guide and they're talking about it smelling of chocolate factory. There isn't even a chocolate factory in Hull so I don't even know whether they've been to visit it. Well I don't really think it is. Um, I think there's a lot of worse towns than what this is. But, um, they have got a lot to answer for. I mean, the city centre is terrible, especially traffic. But, um, you know, that, apart from that, I like it, yeah. I've lived here all my life, I don't, don't really want to 
most, uh, well, that was actually my next question. So you've lived here all your life. Yeah. Uh, what, do you, what do you think to the people and the sort of and their attitudes? Very friendly people, uh, old people. Oh, you find old Yorkshire people. Uh, I don't agree with that. I think it's a perfectly good city to live and work in. Uh, I came here 13 years ago for three months and stayed on. I think everything that you need is in the city centre, uh, and it's improving all the time. So I think it's fine. How do you find the people sort of compared to to Ireland? I think they're on a par with friendliness. I think we'll have to take them on as our adopted people. I think it's a lot of crap myself, mate. It's some place to live. Uh, what, do you, what do you think of the people? The people that I know are alright. I've lived here all my life. It's a good place to live, good place to work, plenty of jobs. It's alright. They should have grown up here in the 70s. It's brilliant compared with then. It's a great city. Have you lived here all your life? No, I've moved around, lived London, Leeds. But Hull's a great place. Um, <laughs> well, you can get in and out of it an awful lot easier. Um, when I used to live in London, it used to take me an hour and a half commuting to get to work every day. Uh, it doesn't take me that in Hull. Uh, can afford to live in a reasonable house in Hull. Couldn't afford a dog kennel in London. So, and uh, so uh, no. But it depends on what what you want out of it, isn't it?